Hi Park. I did a video with the song Snail Snail, which was an ear training exercise, and that one is maybe more for the younger grades, and this one is one for older grades. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a sound map on a piece of paper, and it's going to show where the sounds go high, where they go low, and where they stay the same. So, let me sing the song for you. It goes like this. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Hello, hello. Good morning to you. So first, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm gonna sing slowly and I'm going to mark uh, dots where I hear pitches. Okay, so here it goes like this. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Hello, hello. Good morning to you. All right, then you can connect your dots. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Hello, hello. I think. Good morning to you. All right, now then you add in your words. Good morning to you. Good morning to Then just take a check and see, I think right here, this one should, there should, the dot should be a bit lower. So for me, I would maybe put my dot here and then put a little mark there. So when you check it, you wanna see, this is not where you're writing the music. This is where you're writing a map of the sounds where you're hearing high, low sounds or sounds that are the same. Good morning to you. Oh, those sounds are the same. Good morning to you. Hello, hello. Good morning to you. All right, so your project, you're going to do a song that you probably know. You could actually do any nursery rhyme, but probably simpler songs are going to be easier when you start making maps um, for grade four, five, six. If you want to try this out, please do row, row your boat. So row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Or you can use those other words for your teacher. Bye, Hi Bark. <laughs>